So, it's been a couple weeks since I last recorded a video and uploaded onto my YouTube channel. And in that time, I've been diving back into um, creating and drawing characters. I had played around um, for several weeks, um, investigating and understanding better on creating materials in Unity, made some cool effects, posted some videos on um, how to make some of those effects, some glowing effects, particle effects, um, lots of details in there, and it takes a good amount of time to kind of learn all the ins and outs of all, all of these different aspects of game creation. And I'm really interested in all aspects, but it is a challenge. Um, and anytime you do something for a while and go away from it, it takes a bit longer to get back into it. Um, so now I'm diving more into actually creating 3D characters um, and animating them and making them move around a 3D environment. So I'm going to do um, a series of videos on how uh, I figured out how to do that and some details maybe that are left out of other videos. There are numerous videos out there on creating uh, low poly characters, which is what I'm focused on, mainly because you know I'm not a graphic artist. I'm not going to make a highly detailed character. And low poly characters, you can get at what you need to in your game. Um, and then the animation. Now, the first thing we need to do when animating a character is to create the armature. So in this video, I'm going to go through kind of all the steps to make a basic armature. Again, nothing special about this that's not covered in, in maybe some other videos. Uh, but it is an important first step to make your basic armature, in this case an armature for a person. So what I'm going to do now is put on my programming glasses and dive into Blender and make an armature. All right, what we're going to do today is create an armature to animate a basic figure, a human figure. Um, so what I'm going to do first is delete our default cube, since we always start with that. I am going to turn my screencast keys on before I forget. There we go. Those are on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press 1 to go to front view. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we, we are making our figure the correct size. So I believe each one of these squares is 1 meter. And I just do a quick check. I just add a cube. <clears throat> a cube is 2 meters in size, as we can see, 2 meters. And it does fill up two of these um, squares. So I'm going to get rid of that guy. So I want to make my person maybe two meters is pretty tall for a person, but <clears throat> let's just make it two meters uh, to make it easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to my armature and insert a single bone. I'm going to scale that guy down, grab it to Z, move it about up to here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode, zoom in a bit, and I'm going to grab the end here and I'm going to extrude. This is going to be the top leg. So I'm going to click Z just to make sure it's straight up and down. I'm going to grab that guy, grab it. Oops, I actually want to grab it into X, move it over here. So you want his legs a little spaced out. I'm gonna grab this guy, extrude to the lower leg, down to about here. Extrude down for the foot, like there. And I'm going to grab the top of the root and I'm going to extrude up for the lower spine, extrude for the upper spine, extrude for the head. I'm going to grab this guy, I'm going to extrude for the shoulder, extrude for the upper arm, extrude for the lower arm, extrude for the hand. 
Now you have to make sure these are in the correct proportions. I think this is pretty close. If his hand comes down, you want it to rest about where the waist is. So it looks like that's about the right length. So what I'm going to do now is name all these. It's very handy to name them. Um, and some of the names are very important to name correctly. So we are going to name this one root. It is the base root of our figure. I'm going to hit F2 and name this one lower spine. Name this one upper spine. Let's name this guy head. Again, I'm hitting F2 just for the shortcut key for rename. Name this one shoulder. Now, in addition to the shoulder, I'm going to do dot L to specify that it's the left shoulder, and you'll see why in a minute. Going to name this one upper arm dot L. Don't think it's matters whether it's cap or lowercase. Hit F two lower arm dot L and name this one hand dot L. You notice we didn't use the dot L on any of the elements in the middle of my person, only on the left hand side. So let's name this one upper leg dot L. Name this one lower leg dot L. Name this one foot dot L. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select this upper leg and we need to connect it to our root. So we are going to press control P and make parent but keep the offset. You'll see this little dotted line. So these are parented now but it didn't connect the two. I still wanted them offset it. All right, so now we're going to hit um, three on our number pad and we are going to grab this guy which is about at the knee. We're going to extrude out this way. We're going to click at the top of the foot and extrude this out this way. I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to press Alt P and clear parent. Alt P, clear parent, grab this guy in the Y direction and move it out like this. And we'll see what the purpose is for these in a minute. So we're going to name this one F2. We're going to name it IK pole dot L. And we're going to name this guy IK target dot L. Oops. F2, IK target dot L. All right, and this foot we don't want heading straight down. We're going to grab the bottom here and Y, and we're going to move it out like that. All right, so. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go into front view mode. We are going to select one of the bones, hit A to select all of them. Now we're going to do Shift N. And it pops up this menu recalculate roll. And I'm not 100% sure. Um, I haven't played around totally to see what if we didn't do this, but this um, recalculate roll view access will help when um, doing our animations. So we do real calculate roll, select view access. Remember, you have to be looking at the front view when you do that. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add some what's called inverse kinematics. 
And what this does is it helps us um, move our legs in the correct way. Now your legs are all connected. They bend at the knee, they bend at the ankle. And when you squat down, all your bones stay connected and the knee pops out. The knee is going to come out in the direction of this pole target. That's why it's there. It has to know which way should I bend my knee. And it's always going to bend toward the pole target. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this bone. We're going to go into pose mode. And you have to be in pose mode when to do this. When we select pose mode, you get this extra menu, this little bone with the circle in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a bone constraint. There's lots of constraints we can do depending on um, how you want to limit your animations moving. And in this case, we're going to select this inverse kinematics. And what it's asking to do, first of all, it asks what is the target. And the target is our armature. The whole armature is the target and the bone of our target. And if we type IK for a filter is going to be IK target. That's why we named it that. So it's very clear which bone we select for our target. And our pole target armature. And then the bone for our pole is, I'm sure you could guess, ikpole.l. Now our whole guy tipped forward because we have to adjust our pole angle to 90 degrees. Then what we have to do is we have to alter the chain length to two. And so that goes, makes it go all the way up to back to our root to chain to it. Now there's a couple other things we need to do. We need to select this guy and we want to go to the bone and we want to deselect this deform checkbox. Normally, as our bones are moving and say we're running, what it'll do is it will deform or stretch or compress our mesh that we attach to it, um, which is what we want. As he bends over, you want his, his part of his stomach to squish forward and his back to stretch. But this bone is not, that's not the purpose. So we don't want it to stretch the mesh out to this bone. So we have to deselect that deform. Let's select this guy and do the same thing because its purpose is to control the rotation of the foot. So what we do next is we select our foot and we are going to add a constraint to it. But what we're going to do is we're going to do copy rotation. We want this bone right here, the target, to control the rotation of the foot. It makes it a lot easier to grab and tip the foot forward and, and rotate it if we use this bone to do that. So we're going to do the co uh, copy rotation. So we're going to select the target. It's going to be our armature again. And of course, the target is our iktarget.l. And you'll notice that the foot flip around because we need to change these to local space. All right, so now he's flipped back. So let's test our rotation. So if we select this guy and rotate, click R to rotate, he's rotating incorrectly. It's kind of hard to see here. If we go up here, rotate around the Z, he's rotating opposite. So what we got to do is we have to select our foot bone again and invert the Z rotation. So let's select it again, rotate. Oops, put the wrong bone. Rotate Z. All right, so that looks good. So let's rotate around the X axis. And that looks good. Hit X, yep. And if we rotate Y, that also looks good. We generally won't do much of that, but that looks good. All right. So now when we grab our root and pull it down, we should squat with our bones. So let's grab the Z direction. 
Hmm, and it did not work. So, the question is, why didn't it work? Well, the last thing we need to do is we need to select this guy in edit mode. Select the little ball joint there. Grab it in the Y direction and give a little bend to his knee. It's like if his leg is perfectly straight, it it's like locked in place and it won't bend toward our pole target. So now let's grab this guy, go to pose mode, grab Z, and we can see he is squatting exactly how we should. But see how the foot points down when his uh, knee goes forward? We don't want it to do that. So the last thing we need to do is we need to select this foot and go to our bones. And if we go to relations, see this inherit rotation? What it's doing is it's inheriting the rotation from the bone it's connected to, which is the lower leg. And we don't want that. We want it to use this target as the rotation. We want to copy its rotation. So we deselect that. So now let's grab Z direction. We can see, see now the foot doesn't, doesn't bend there anymore, which is exactly what we want. All right. So our skeleton is looking pretty good. So now the last thing we have to do is we got to duplicate this half into the other half. And remember all the bones on this half we put that dot L on. So now if we hit, go back to edit mode, hit A to select everybody. Just go to front mode. Not sure it really matters. And now the last thing we want to do is we want to symmetrize or we want to duplicate and make a right hand side of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit F3 S Y M. Now this is confusing. You have to make sure to be in the correct mode on all these things. Some of the um, items are only available in pose mode and some are only available in edit mode. And if the right thing does not come up, check your mode to make sure you're in the right mode. So what we're going to do is click on this symmetrize and you'll see it duplicated everything with dot L. It made a duplicate on the right hand side and if we look at the name you'll see it took the exact same name with the dot L and made it a dot R. So now we have everything that was on the left hand side we have a duplicate on the right hand side. So let's go back to pose mode. Let's select this guy. Grab Z. We can see our guy is working exactly how he's supposed to. All right. So we have a nice armature uh, all ready to create a character and bind to that architecture or armature, but that will be left for another video. Thanks for watching.